Good afternoon to viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you, live from the Grange of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. It's Frank Crummit Day, and we're going for the second record, The Return of Abdul the Bulbul Amir. Here we go. of Sargassa I wandered one night the moon it was shining quite clear for no reason at all I heard someone call for Abdul Bulbul Abir now Abdul Bulbul I knew to be dead the story had spread near and far how he lost his life while plunging his knife in the Ivan Skavinsky's Skavar. As I pondered, the moonbeams descended quite low, casting shadows so ghostly, and then I discovered that I was standing close by the tombs of these two famous men. Then in the tomb shadow there rose from the grave the form of a Russian Hazar. And my skin nearly peeled as he stood there revealed it was Ivan Skavinsky's heart. Was he who was calling, I hardly dared breathe. My heart most stopped beating from fear. When out of the grave, in need of a shave, arose Abdul Abubul Amir. Would speak with me, Ivan, for that's all quite low. I would, replied Ivan, quite clear. That quarrel we had, it was all to the bad, friend Abdul Bulbul Amir. I've lain here for ages with that on my mind, and that's why I called you tonight. Well, I'm in the same state, for that dull the great was foolish we two to fight. Old friend, thou art blameless, cried Ivan in haste. The fault lie in mine hands alone. But Abdo said, nay, it was never that way. The fault was no one's but mine own. Well, dost think I'm a coward? Said Ivan Skavar, step forth and I'll slice off thine ear. Oh, son of a cat, you'll never do that, for that dull bulbul Amir. Then once more they baffled and fought as before, and the multitudes came from afar. And lauded with tears these bold buccaneers, this Turk and this Russian Hazar. The ghost of the dawn on a fiery black steed came rushing to witness the fray. While the Sultan sat there in his royal gold chair, it was just like a scene from a play. It was just at that moment each sword found its mark, and I heard a blood curdling scream. Then came the surprise, for I opened my eyes and found it was only a dream. Well, that was a bit of a swizz, wasn't it, viewers? That sounds like Dallas, doesn't it? All a dream. How outrageous. Nice to hear about the Tsar, though. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.